Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, now, uh, Ms. Lesko from the great state of Arizona, you're recognized for your five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, Chair Khan, how many employees or consultants has the FTC hired from the Open Markets Institute, American Economic Liberties Project, and Capital Forum? Uh, Congresswoman, we've been really fortunate to be able to recruit top talent from across all sorts of workplaces and all sorts of forms of expertise, uh, including private sector, including public sector, including nonprofits. Do you know the number from those particular organizations that you've hired? Not off the top, but we're going to look into it. Well, can you send it to me and, and the committee, please, once you check into it? We're happy to, to look into it and be in touch over overwriting. Okay, so you're going to give me the answer, correct? I don't know if there are kind of HR rules that we would be running afoul of, but assuming we are able to share that information in accordance with agency policy, we'd be happy to, to be Thank able to you. share what we can. Chair Khan, I'm hearing that there are significant leaks coming out of the FTC, especially to left-wing news organizations, including Capital Forum and the New York Times. The House Judiciary Report concluded that the FTC's explanation of the leaks was implausible. What have you instructed commission staff concerning these continued leaks, and has anyone at the FTC leaked stories to the press during your tenure ahead of public announcements? So I couldn't agree more that ensuring the integrity and security of non-public law enforcement information is absolutely paramount. Before I arrived at the FTC, the inspector general actually did a survey and identified some vulnerabilities. And so since I've joined, we've been taking steps to put those safeguards in place. Of course, we continue to remind our staff of the importance of maintaining- Excuse me, just because I'm running out of time. Have you instructed commission staff concerning these continued leaks? Have you talked to the staff about it? As a general matter, I believe our general counsel has reminded everybody of the importance of maintaining the security and integrity of law enforcement information. And do you know personally if anyone at the FTC leaked stories to the press during your tenure? No, I don't know that. Okay. I'll say as a general matter, one pattern we often detect is once we are interviewing third parties as part of our investigation, that ends up being a moment at which some of this information also can become public. So we'll do everything we can to keep non-public information non-public, but sometimes other actors have this information as well. Thank you. Uh, Chair Khan, the national debt is uh, approaching $35 trillion. I believe this year our interest payment on the debt will exceed the entire budget of the Department of Defense. With that in mind, can you provide justification for the 25% increase in the FTC's budget request for fiscal year 25? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So a significant amount of this would actually cover uh, unfunded pay increases. 70% of our budget goes to our employees covers FTEs, and so when there are 5.2% statutory increases in how much we have to pay, but we're not getting money for that, that really pinches us. In that budget request also is included funding for critical upgrades to our IT infrastructure. As we are doing more of these investigations in AI and looking at monopolies and digital markets, we end up having to analyze a lot of big data reams and reams of data, and so we need to make sure we actually have the capacity and the infrastructure to do that analysis. Um, beyond that, there are non-pay related cost increases that we are running up against, and so that's what this would cover as well, but the vast majority, 70%, would cover employees. And, and Chair Khan, can you expand on why you would give pay increases if you don't have the budget? So we don't, we can't unilaterally decide to pay employees more. That's something that Congress has done. Congress has, st through statute, said these employees need to be given increases in pay, and so we are following what Congress has told us to do. Um, as a general matter, mm -hmm. you know, I fully understand being concerned about spending, but I'll just underscore, for every $1 the FTC receives, we return $14 back to the public. You know, we just, we always talk about the debt, and I'm really concerned about our debt. 
um, and the amount of interest that is accumulating um, when it exceeds the Department of Defense budget, that's a national security risk. And so I guess, you know, in my personal budget, if I go over budget, I would probably have to, you know, say, okay, maybe we can't employ the, as many people and that type of thing. So that we have to start addressing our national budget or everything's going to be a problem. And with that, I yield back.